Diamonds in Flowers tutorial. These numbers are only based on the maths that I've done in my head because I haven't done a large one before. So I'm going with eight, eight, four, sixteen. So this is the colour my diamonds and my seam are going to be. And then flowers and um, pom poms. This design doesn't need a seam because it is a solid back design, but I am going to add a seam to box in the diamonds. So if you want a seam, it will look best if it's the same colour as the diamonds. So take your first group, the diamond colour. I'm using all eight. Turn to the corner nail, create your seam. So corner nail along to the next nail, straight up to the top, to the corresponding nail, back one, down one, straight across, up one, across and down, so we're covering three nails in the corners, down to the bottom three, And you're coming back to where you started. I'm going to do that pattern again. If you're unsure, most of my tutorials have a seam. So, when you get back to where you started, cut it, tie it off. You see him should look like this. That was my diamond colour, all eight. So we're going to continue with the same colour and now we're going to add the diamond layer. Diamond pattern. So continuing with the same group of eight. Tie onto the corner nail. So to make the diamonds, we're going to do the pattern of three. So tied onto the corner nail, skip one nail over this nail, down, miss a nail, wrap, miss a nail, wrap, up, miss a nail, wrap, over the three, down, miss a nail, over three nails, up, Miss a nail, over three, down, miss a nail, over three. So it's the check design pattern. You're going to continue down and up. So down, up, down, up, four rounds. When you reach your corner, so I've got four nails, you might have three, you might have four. All you're going to do is go around them all and then you're going to come back along the lines that you have already made to continue. So this is actually three times, so down, up and down again. Um, still using the same first group of eight and this time we're going to make the same pattern going the opposite way. So we're tying onto the corner nail. So 
So call it a nail, skip the nail, over this next nail, down, you're skipping this nail. We're creating the same pattern as we've just done, but we're going the opposite way. So skip a nail, wrap three, down, skip a nail, wrap three, up, skip a nail, wrap three, down, skip a nail. I'm going to do this three times or three and a half. I'm going to use the rest of the diamond colour. What you're looking for with this pattern is you want the cross section of your diamonds to be in line with the nails. So basically all of the tires for your diamonds in line with the nails. So that's your diamond layer and your seam. Now you're going to take your flowers colour, the whole so eight, and we're going to, we're going to fill in the gaps. So we'll be doing the same pattern, but we'll be filling the nails that are not already wrapped. You can turn to your corner nail or the second nail. I'm going to use the second nail. And then we're going to fill in. So we're wrapping the nails that are not wrapped already. We're doing the pattern of three. This is what you're looking for. So when you go in that way, you're filling in the gap between these two, which is there. When you go in the opposite way, you'll be filling the gap in between those two, but we're not doing that right now. So the pattern of three, filling in the gaps. I'm going to do three times again. So that's the first of the flower layer. So the second, I have to use my fourth nail to fill in the gaps. But you're doing exactly the same, same pattern. And we are just wrapping the nails that are not already wrapped. Uh, three times or four depending on how you feel. So that is your flowers, the first part of the flower layer added. Um, I did three going that way, four going that way. Now you're gonna take this group of four and we're gonna add this. This is what's gonna make the solid back. I'll take all four into the corner nail and you're making the pom pom pattern You're going to continue the pom-pom pattern until all four of those are gone. So 
So when you get to your corner, you're gonna go around three and come across and continue the pattern going down. That's what it should look like. Now you need to add the pom-pom layer. So same pattern in the same way that you've just added that layer. If you wanted to make it without pom-poms, with that pattern on both sides of the blanket, after this layer, you would add the yellow layer again, and then you would add your diamond layer over the top of that, and another seam, but then you would need to learn the continuous knot to tie it off. So this way is easier because your ties will be in the pom-poms. I'm tying at the bottom and same pattern again. We're using all 16, you're going to fill in the board, you're going to go around five times, so three vertical and two horizontal. So that's my pom-pom layer added and then I continued to there. That won't make a difference, it, those pom-poms will obviously have that many more strands than those, but you won't actually notice it. So it's ready to tie. What you're doing on this design is, so this, your first tie is a blue one. Your second tie is a yellow one. And then it will be blue, yellow, because you are tying in the color of the cross section on the front. So whatever color your diamond is will be your first tie any flower colour. So when you tie, you tie in this cross section at the back to this cross section at the front. Obviously mine's yellow. So we're going in through the top left and we're going to bring it out through the bottom right all the way to the back. Knot it. Take the long piece in through bottom left, back out top right. Tie it. Knot it. Cut it off. So my blue X's are tied in blue and my yellow in yellow. So whatever colour you are using, you need to tie in the corresponding colour. Also on this design, we're tying these as well. There's a lot more tying on this design. Where it's literally one string. And just tie them together. standard knot. When you tie it, you just go in through the two triangles, top and bottom, like that. One knot is all it needs. Cut it quite short so that these group of pom-poms hide it. So it's all tied, it's time to cut the pom-poms, but what we're doing is, you're not cutting all the way through, you're only cutting through to this yellow, the yellow layer at the back, so 
the last yellow layer that we added before the pom-pom layer. You're only cutting through to that layer. We're not cutting all the way through. We're leaving the yellow layer. So just separate with your scissors. And then if there are any blue, just make sure you cut them as well. Once you've cut them all going that way, it's time to cut going this way. Same again, you're only cutting back to the yellow layer. Your pom pom edges, you are snipping the whole thing off. All pom poms cut, and it's time to take it off the frame. So you're gonna have to separate the layers. So pull your top layer forward, and you're going to cut it in the middle, exactly in the middle, so where this nail is. If you cut just under the nail, it will all be the same. Leave the corners until last. Do the same for your bottom colour as well. Just cut right in the middle. Leave your corners where your seam is until last because it will hold everything together while you take these off. So those amounts originally quoted do actually work, but I personally would add three more to the diamond layer and I would double up on the last layer of the flowers. Um, I would also add four more into the pom-poms. Um, yeah, there's the pom-poms.